Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to install Avada via WordPress. If you want to install Avada via FTP, or to update Avada, there are other videos specifically for that, both listed in the description below the video here. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. To install the Avada website builder, you first need to have hosting set up, and to have WordPress installed on your server. But for this video, we're going to assume you're already at that point. If you need help with that, please check out our How to Install WordPress on a Web Host video, linked below. You can of course also install Avada on a local server, and there's a video linked below to help you on that as well if you want to do that. To avoid any issues with installation or functionality, please ensure that your server is configured to meet the minimum requirements for Avada. You can find details on what you need to check in the Requirements for Avada documentation, also linked in the description below the video. Ok, the next step is to obtain a copy of the latest version of Avada. We are assuming here that you have already purchased Avada. For more information on that, please see the How to Purchase Avada on ThemeForest video, linked below. Once you've done this, log into the ThemeForest account that you use to purchase Avada, and under your profile name you will find a link to the Downloads page. Click on this and you'll see your purchases. Locate your Avada purchase and click the Download link. You'll note that there are several choices here. You can download all files and documentation, which is the Avada theme full package, or you can download the installable WordPress file only, as well as being able to download a copy of your license certificate and purchase code. In this case, we only need the installable WordPress file only, so I'm going to download that one. It is considered best practice to install a child theme as well when installing Avada, to allow for safe theme customizations down the track. And for this, we'd need to download the full package and extract it. To understand more about child themes and how to install them, please see the How to Set Up a Child Theme with Avada doc listed in the description below. But for our purposes, we're just going to install Avada itself. Ok, so now we have the installable file, let's go and install Avada. I have a fresh, clean install of WordPress here on a local server. To start, you need to be logged into the back end of WordPress which you access by going to your domain name, .com or whatever your domain extension is, and then forward slash wp hyphen admin. Once you are logged in, head to Appearances, Themes. You should already have at least one theme installed. In my example, I have the current default WordPress theme, 2025. After I have installed Avada, I will leave this there as a backup theme. You also need to have a backup theme for the update notifications to show when there is an Avada update. To add a new theme, click on the Add New button at the top. You can see all the free themes here, but to upload a premium theme such as Avada, you need to click Upload Theme, and choose File, and then choose the zip file that you have just downloaded. Please ensure that you're not selecting the full package zip file, which is several hundred megabytes. Once you have selected the file, click Install Now. If you get an error at this point, it would be because your server is limited in how big a file you can upload to it. Some hosts set very small file upload limits by default. If this happens to you, just contact your hosting company and ask them to increase the limit, or change it yourself through your hosting interface, like cPanel or Plesk. Alternatively, you could always upload the file via FTP using your preferred FTP client. Please see a link in the description below the video for further information on that method. Usually though, there will be no errors, and Avada will upload and install. When the process is completed, you will be met with this screen, and here you need to click Activate. This activates Avada as the current theme, and takes you to the Avada dashboard. And from here, you need to register your copy of Avada using the purchase code from ThemeForest. If you need more info on that, see the How to Register Avada documentation link below, but I'll just paste my license code in here. This registers the site, and the two required plugins are activated, and after that is complete, the site redirects to the Avada Setup Wizard. At this point, the installation is technically complete. If we open the front end of the site now in a new tab, you can see that Avada has been installed. It's a fresh install with the WordPress defaults and no content, and is now ready for you to start creating your site. But running the Setup Wizard should definitely be your next step. See the linked video on more information on this process, but there are two ways to go here. You can import one of the 100 plus pre-built sites as a starting point for your own website, and you can also use the setup wizard to set up a new site from scratch. 
This automates a lot of the next steps and saves you a ton of time. If you haven't tried it before, check it out. You can always use a plugin like WP Reset to remove any changes and start again. Okay, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.